Hi, I'm Tracy Conway, principal at Bolsa Grande High School. It's a pleasure to introduce to you our co-valedictorians. First up, Tao Do. Hello, my name is Tao Do, and I'm co-valedictorian of Bolsa Grande High School. I previously attended Peters Elementary, Ralston Intermediate, and now Bolsa Grande High School. In my free time, I like to either sit down and do quiet things such as read or embroider, but other times I like to go rock climbing, both indoors and outdoors. In these past four years, I have made countless memories, and many of them have been in the classroom. My favorite classes were Calculus, AP Physics, and AP Psychology. Mr. Avalas, Mr. Meeks, and Mr. Stanley are amazing teachers, and they've helped me grow not only as a scholar, but as a person. I actually decided to major in mechanical engineering because of how much I enjoyed calculus and physics with Mr. Avalas and Mr. Meeks. This journey has, been, has not been an easy one, but I definitely could not have done it without the help and support of my friends, family, teachers, and my rock climbing coach, Coach Maurice. I thank my parents and sister especially. They have always supported my endeavors and emphasized my health and happiness over academic perfection. This balance between school and health allowed me to achieve consistent academic success without sacrificing my mental health, and that I will always be thankful for. This journey is soon coming to an end, and while I'm excited for what is to come, I will always hold the time I have spent here close to my heart. Our next valedictorian is Pauline Wong. Hello everyone, my name is Pauline Wong, and I am the proud co-valedictorian of Bolsa Grande's Class of 2021. I have had the honor of learning under the GGUSD district for the last 13 years of my life, attending kindergarten through sixth grade at Sunnyside Elementary, where I discovered my love for math and sports. Jordan Intermediate, home to my discovery for my love of community service, and Bolsa Grande High School, the campus I will always be able to call home. Even when times got tough and we all became guilty to zooming in our PJs, fond memories of my senior class poorly dancing our hearts out in front of hundreds or my tennis girls advancing in the CIF playoffs for the first time in years kept me optimistic and reminded me of the hard-working, patient seniors that have done all in their power to keep others safe. And for that, I greatly thank each and every one of you. Though there are many highlights to my high school career, they wouldn't exist without any low points. And not to brag, but I've had plenty. Despite bawling my eyes out in Mr. Cho's notorious Algebra 2 trade class or frantically having to switch shoes with a friend for a lab in Ms. Mastropello's AP Chemistry class, I definitely attribute this recognition of co-valid Victorian to having a positive growth mindset. Over the years, I have learned to channel obstacles into launch pads to success, encompassing an internal locus of control that continuously seeks to become a better version of myself each and every day, always making sure to stay true to myself along the way. Though I will definitely miss seeing familiar faces in the halls of the welcoming Bolsa Grande High School, I am excited for what the future holds. My name is Pauline Boone, and I thank you so much for your time. Hello, everyone. My name is Todd Nurk. I'm the principal at Garden Grove High School, and it's a privilege to introduce our valedictorian, Amy Trin. Hi, my name is Amy Trin, and I currently attend Garden Grove High School. I previously attended Peters Elementary and Lake Intermediate. Throughout my four years here at Grove, I enjoyed volunteering with Red Cross, Kiwins, CSF, and NHS, as well as working on chemistry labs with my friends. My favorite classes were AP Human Geography, AP Calculus, and AP Psychology. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and pushing me to become the best version of myself, as well as my teachers for their hard work and dedication during these unprecedented times. They have all shaped me into the person I am today, and I could not have done this without them. Hello, my name is Lydia Machado, and I'm the principal of Hare High School. I would like to introduce to you Jim Juarez, the valedictorian for Hare High School Class of 2021. Hello, everyone. My name is Jim Juarez, and I'm the valedictorian for the Class of 2021 at Hare High School. My journey as a student began at Fay Lane Elementary and continued at Lake Intermediate. While at Lake, I met Mr. Ferris, who has since seen the change in me from then until now. Before I was able to promote from eighth grade, I had to move away. For every year of high school that I've been through, I attended a different school. 
Freshman year was in Moreno Valley and sophomore year I was living in Mexico. In my junior year, I came back to Garden Grove and went to Rancho. Halfway through my junior year, I was transferred to Hare High School. I credit my mom for always pushing me to do better and for seeing the potential that I never saw myself. Before moving away from her, I made a promise to take as many opportunities as I could to be successful. Her belief in me has helped me to be where I am today. I am proud of my accomplishments and I will always look back at my time at Hare and remember how much I've grown. I'm playing basketball with the guys at lunch. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Tawny Fan, the principal at La Quinta High School. Today, I would like to introduce you to two of our valedictorians for the class of 2021. I am so proud of these two scholars and I'm excited for you to meet them. First up is Tommy Nguyen. Hey guys, I'm Tommy Nguyen and I'm one of La Quinta's co-valedictorians. In the past, I attended McGovern Intermediate as well as Ethan Allen Elementary. During high school, my favorite classes were definitely the computer science classes taught by Ms. Terry, not only because they deepened my passion for coding, but also because Ms. Terry made the entire process fun and enjoyable. I also liked cross country because I got the opportunity to surround myself with some amazing individuals that gave me wonderful advice and I got to make fun lasting memories with them. I credit my success to my friends, families, teachers, and everyone else that has been with me every, every step of the way. You guys have driven me to work hard, to become a better person, and have ultimately shaped me into the individual I am today. And I don't know what I'd do without you guys. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you guys have ever done for me. And our second valedictorian is Yang Pham. Hi guys, I am Yang. Currently attending La Quinta High School, I was a former alumni at Sarah McGarman Intermediate. Before that, I was a student at Sunnyside, Susan B. Anthony, and Ethan Allen Elementary. One of my favorite high school courses is Mr. Hall's math class. He's an amazing teacher and is one of a kind, not only in his teaching prowess, but also in his ability to make a class really engaging. I also love Ms. Smith's music theory class. Ms. Smith goes above and beyond to create an environment that's both fun and academic. I could truly be myself there. It was a class I look forward to every day. My classmates, you are the reason why I'm even standing here. Your individual thrive pushes me to work hard. Your extraordinary talent invigorates me to become a better version of myself. So I'd like to spend this moment to say thank you. You guys are amazing. Hi, I'm Amy Avina, and I'm the principal of Los Amigos High School. Welcome to the top of the pack as I introduce our 2021 valedictorians. First up, our co-valedictorian, Kenny Dow. My name is Kenny Dow, and I attended Thomas Paine Elementary, Fifth Intermediate, and currently Los Amigos High School. One of my favorite activities in high school was practicing tennis. From the late night games to the annual bonfires, I formed an amazing relationship with my team and coach who has supported me throughout the past four years. I also loved participating in clubs such as Key Club and Key Wins, in which I served as Vice President and Class Representative because I enjoy volunteering and servicing my community. One of the most memorable events was the Light the Night Walk in which we helped spread awareness about leukemia. As I'm reaching the end of my high school career, I'd like to thank my family, teachers, and friends for supporting me through everything and making this journey possible. And next, our co-valedictorian, Sebastian Lozano. Hello, my name is Sebastian Lozano, and I attended Russell Elementary, Fitz Intermediate, and currently I'm going to graduate from Los Amigos High School. During high school, my all-time favorite activity was participating in my school's aquatics program, which consisted of water polo and swim. My coach, Mr. Brogdon, never gave up on me, and even though I didn't know how to swim in the beginning, he shaped me physically and mentally for life after high school. Furthermore, I also enjoyed participating in community-based organizations, most notably USC Boulevard Scholars, Dr. Moffey's Mentees, and the Simon Scholars Program. In addition, I really enjoyed taking all my classes in high school, but I would say my favorite class ever was AP Calculus AB with Mr. Mobastri. I ultimately credit my parents for this distinction. I wouldn't be where I am today without their support. They mean everything to me, and this recognition is something earned from all three of us. Hi, my name is Denise Kirkman, and I am a proud assistant principal at Pacifica High School. It is with honor that I introduce this year's valedictorian, Rushika Wirakone. 
Hi, my name is Rishika Wirokone. I've attended Patton Elementary, Bell Intermediate, and currently Pacifica High School. Some of my favorite courses throughout high school have been human geography, chemistry, and psychology. And some of my favorite activities have been playing soccer, tutoring math students during CSF, and also participating in our Mariner Mentor Program, and getting to meet my freshmen over Zoom. As to what I credit to becoming valedictorian, I am, could not have done this without my family, who have been my continual base of support and love, and also my teachers who have gone above and beyond through everything. And above, and above all else, God, for all the many blessings he's given me throughout high school. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, my name is Mary Jane Hibbard, and as principal of Rancho Alamitos High School, I am proud to introduce our amazing valedictorian, Nina Nguyen. Hi, my name is Nina Nguyen, and I am the class of 2021 valedictorian at Rancho Alamitos High School. I am an alum of Stanford Elementary and Alamitos Intermediate, both of which are impactful schools that changed my life for the better. At Alamitos, ASB taught me how to branch out into a more outgoing, confident, assertive, and well-rounded person. These traits helped me thrive in high school as I joined and eventually led numerous clubs on campus. Of all my activities, two of my favorites are tennis game days with my teammates and the food drive that I hosted in November 2020, which collected over 2,000 pounds of food for families in need. Extracurricular activities, of course, come second to academics for me. My favorite classes are those offered by Rancho's FACT and AP Capstone programs. Reflecting on my academic record, I credit my earning of the valedictorian title to my immigrant parents, who proved to me that the ingredients to success are passion, grit, and tenacity. Although I will eventually graduate and leave my Rancho family behind, I look forward to my next four years at Stanford University and cannot wait to see what the future holds. Good afternoon. I'm Santiago High School Principal Christina Pyle, and I'm pleased to introduce our 2021 valedictorian, Mr. William Hinn. Hello, my name is William Hinn, and I'm Santiago High School's valedictorian. I've been in GGC all my life, so I started out at Clinton Mendenhall Elementary, then Doig Intermediate, and now I'm at Santiago High School. My favorite activities in high school would definitely be Key Club, especially when I was able to attend an international convention in Baltimore, Maryland, Associated Student Body, where we would plan a lot of the school activities, and the GGC Board of Education by going to all of the board meetings and seeing what really goes behind the scenes to support the students. The things I'd credit that helped me become valedictorian would definitely be our school library, the faculty, the students, and my parents. All of junior year, I'd go to our school library and stay there for about three to four hours just studying and working with teachers who stayed there for so long, and a collaborative student community that I could always rely on for help. The faculty are super supportive and are always willing to stay after school to provide extra help. And my parents definitely encouraged me to always try my best no matter what. And all of these people definitely got me to where I am today. Thank you.